beautiful day. What a nice walk in the woods. Oh, hi, Dr. Romano. I just got outside on this good day to take time off. Don't you think it's a good day to take off from studying? It's a great day to study. It's, um, taking days off is for the indolent, so let's get right to work. I want to go over a problem with you that I presented to the study group and everyone got wrong. And basically, it's how to invert an alcohol. Um, the best way to invert an alcohol is to probably do a reaction known as a Mitsunabu reaction. But God forbid if I ever presented it, kids would say it's overkill for the debt. So I'm not going to do a Mitsunabu, but I'll do it with the reagents that you use commonly in the Organic One course. So come along and let's have a look. Okay, Dr. Um, Romano. Instead of doing a Mitsunabu reaction, which you probably don't need to know for the DAT exam, we're going to do a three-step procedure. We're going to first treat this starting compound, which make sure you're clear that this is R2-pentanol. Um, make sure you're clear on the stereochemistry. Um, I'm going to treat the starting material with tosyl chloride, then the second step with sodium acetate, and then potassium carbonate and methanol. Now, the first step is pretty straightforward. We're going to simply split off an H and a Cl, and you get the tosylate. Note the retention of configuration because you're not breaking a bond in the chiral carbon. So you keep the stereochemical designator as such. Step number two is a simple SN2. Note the inversion, how a wedge is now to a dash. Most students got the first two steps, and they're pretty easy. So we made the tosylate, we did the SN2. Now, the third step is a little tricky. What does potassium carbonate and methanol, what is that going to do to this S-designated ester? Well, if you looked over here, I showed you that Knocking the spectator off, you get carbonate ion. That's going to react with methanol to give bicarbonate and methoxide. The methoxide is a simple nucleophile. So as you can see what I've done here, notice I'm going to attack, but I'm not attacking a, carb, a chiral carbon. So you keep this as a dash. You first do an attack. In the next step, you set up the leaving group. This group leaves... Bond forms down, so you're now left with the departing ester, and you're left with an O with a minus. And then one kid named Toby in the group, um, Toby Doe, he asked me, where does the protonation step? So, Toby, this is for you. I, what I simply do is I pick up an H from the methanol that we have in the reaction vessel, and when you protonate it, you end up getting the S to pentanol. So essentially what you've done, you've gone from an R to an S, but it was more than one step. Very important problem that you want to bring into the DAT exam. This is a little on the tricky side, so what I would do is go to your dad destroyer book, go to the orgo section, and add this question in. By the way, you do need orgo too. I get a lot of stupid questions. And do I need orgo too for the dad? You most certainly do. You need one and two for the dad as well as the old exam. All right, I hope this helps, and hope you're enjoying the study group. Every day I think of new questions and how we can improve our chances of getting a 30 on the dot. All right, okay, Dr. Romano, I love the study group, but I'm going to take the day off. All right, good day to you. Bye-bye. Good day to you, sir. Good day to you, sir. Wow, you work hard, Dr. Romano.